This video is about the best planetaries for a TH350. And I have here Chevrolet 350 and a multi case, which is Buick Pontiac Olds. So if you look around in front of this case, um, it has the concave for Buick Pontiac Olds. I haven't tore this one apart yet, so I don't know if it's got Buick planetaries in it or not. But here's the Chevrolet planetary. And the deal with the Chevrolet planetary is you have a washer on the top of it here. Now, there is a bearing down in here, but that doesn't matter for this video. What we're talking about is what's on the top here, and on the top here is a washer. And you can't just take the washer off and put the Buick bearing on here because there's not enough room. The Buick planetaries either have this cut thinner or a deep cut in here to make room for the bearing. Also, this part of the ring gear is different as well. And just because it's a two piece or a one piece, that doesn't get you out of the woods. It has to be a Buick hub for the ring gear and a Buick planetary if you're gonna use the bearing. Now on the rear planetary, we have a similar situation. And, but there's no bearing down in here. And there's no bearing here on the Chevrolet. This thrust washer rides here. And this thrust washer goes in the ring gear, right here, into these three holes that hold it in place. And it rests on this flat raised area right here. The Buick Pontiac Olds, however, has a deep cut right here. And that is so a bearing can sit in there. A thrust washer is not going to go there. It's almost dummy proof. There's no holes for the thrust washer feet. And there's no raised area for the thrust washer to sit. There is a quite the opposite there is a cut groove here to set the bearing down into <clears throat> now what i've noticed is that mostly it's racing types that like to use the bearing so they get the quick run up and the less friction but if i were to want heavy duty and towing and reliability this is simpler and more reliable and if you're towing something, it seems like this would work better and give you more reliability and less likelihood of coming apart while you're towing things. And this would be able to put up with more heat and friction than the bearing. But if you're racing, I do see the point in racing. You're trying to get every little tiny bit of friction out of the unit so you can get every bit of horsepower from the engine to the rear end. And down to the street so which one is best well depends on what you're using it for let me know in the comments below which one you prefer the bearing type that comes from Buick Pontiac Olds or the washer type that comes from Chevrolet hey if you like this video we got a whole lot more we've got tool reviews we've got repair videos we've got show car videos hot rods mod rods you name it if it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and binge watch Sane Auto. 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 Do not attempt anything you see or hear in this video. Serious injury or death may occur. Sane Auto and or Victor Sane cannot guarantee against improper use or unauthorized modifications of this information. Sane Auto and or Victor Sane assumes no liability for property damage or injury incurred as a result of any of the information contained in this video. Use this information at your own risk. Sane Auto recommends safe practices when working on vehicles and or with tools seen or implied in this video. No information contained in this video shall create any expressed or implied warranty or guarantee of any particular result. Any injury, damage, or loss that may result from improper use of these tools, equipment, or from the information contained in this video is the sole responsibility of the user and not Sane Auto, nor Victor Sane. In layman's terms, Please don't do anything you see me do in my videos. You could end up burnt, bruised, and bleeding just like me. This site contains affiliate links for which I may be compensated.